All you need is a little juju. All you need is a little juju. All you need is a little juju. Hey y'all, it's Juju Bay, and it's October, so happy October and happy Hoodoo Heritage Month. Uh, for Hoodoo Heritage Month, I have teamed up with Real Talk Session Series to give you a little bit of a glimpse and educational information about what Hoodoo is. So Hoodoo is a tradition, it's a religion that is practiced primarily by enslaved Africans and their descendants, like us. And it is the study of herbs and roots. It is the study of spirit and the veneration of ancestors to get free, to liberate our spirits, to liberate our minds and liberate our bodies. So when you think of Hoodoo, you can pretty much think of everyday blackness. Sometimes people call them old wives tales or folk tales that we do. But for example, on New Year's Eve, maybe you've heard of having black eyed peas and collard greens because black eyed peas represent good luck and collard greens are for wealth. That's hoodoo. When I grew up, my grandmother always wanted my father to come over on New Year's Day because a man had to be the first one walking through the door with money in his left pocket. That's hoodoo. Maybe you've heard of not sweeping over somebody's feet. And if you do, you got to spit on the broom because that's bad luck. That is hoodoo. And these are practices that our ancestors carried from a long time ago from the continent. Our ancestors did not lose their religions and beliefs that they had from the continent. Even through enslavement, they were able to take their spiritual traditions and beliefs and just use them here in a different way. So we just had new plants, new herbs and different spirits that we could call on, but the same thing still applies. We are able to use the roots and the herbs and the spirits to be able to create the reality that we want for ourselves. For example, poke salad, which is right behind me actually. So poke salad is a highly poisonous plant. The roots are very poisonous, but technically you can eat the leaves and the berries. But our ancestors used this because it is highly poisonous to poison slave masters, to poison livestock. So that is an example of how we can use hoodoo in the study of the herbs and roots to be able to get ourselves free and protect ourselves from danger. Like a lot of black Americans specifically, many of us were raised in the church. I personally was raised in the Catholic church. Um, but there's a lot of examples of spirituality and hoodoo within the church. The idea of the church mother and the women sort of running the show and what's going on and having to answer to the elders. That's a very hoodoo practice. The ways that we sing and praise and worship and dance, very hoodoo. The ideas of us running around in a counterclockwise circle, praising the Holy Ghost and speaking in tongues, that is hoodoo. So the ways that we praise, that we still praise to this day, shows that the power of our ancient and ancestral traditions and the power of our ancient religions. They didn't go anywhere. They just had to change up a little bit, but hoodoo is still here. Our spirits are still here. Our ancestors are still here, ready and waiting for us to call on them so that we can get free. So I would encourage you to talk to some of the elders in your family or just your family in general and think about what are some old wives tales? What are some superstitions that you may have in your family? I guarantee you they're probably rooted in hoodoo. So follow us for more future videos at It's Juju Bay, I-T-S-J-U-J-U-B-A-E or at A Little Juju Podcast. Or you can follow at Real Talk Session Series to stay up to date with the videos that we have coming soon. Thanks y'all, and remember, all you need is a little juju. Later.